Okay, so that's a very simple setup for calculating insulation for any given time of any given day. So on this day, at this time, the sun is coming from here, uh, and this is the insulation uh, falling onto our panels. That's pretty good, but that's not typically what insulation study will give you because we don't, we're not just concerned about you know, September 15th uh, at whatever time of the day. We want to get these values for a range of times and dates and then add them all together to get kind of total insulation throughout the year. The good thing is that that kind of study is really easy to do in Grasshopper because all we have to change is instead of having one vector, we'll just feed it a number of vectors which we can generate through giving heliotrope a number of days. That'll give us an array of vectors and then we'll calculate insulation for each of those vectors and add them all together. So it's really just a couple of nodes that we need to add. The first thing we'll do is instead of giving one number to offset, so remember the offset is controlling the position of the sun, we're going to give it a range of numbers to generate a series of vectors. Okay, so for this, in this case, I'm going to say that I want to generate um, the position of the sun at 10 different times throughout the day. So I'm not really concerned about which 10 times, I just want to split this arc of the whole day into 10 segments and take each of those times and create the vector. So to create a range of numbers, we'll use the range tool. So the range tool will take a range, uh, a domain as Grasshopper calls it, so from one number to another, and it'll split that domain into a set number of values. Okay, so for the domain, uh, it defaults to zero to one, which should match the domain that's expected by our input. So here it's expecting zero to one, and our default is zero to one, so we don't need to change that. And for the number, we just wanna give it the number of steps that we want to divide that into. It defaults to 10, which is actually what I want. But I'm gonna make that a variable. So then we can actually adjust this later if we want higher or lower resolution to our analysis. Okay, so now what we get is uh, 11 numbers, which splits the range from zero to one evenly. So we get uh, every decimal number. So now if, if we plug that range into the offset, you can see that we just multiply everything by 10. So we get 10 arcs, or 11 in this case, right? Because we split the line 10 times. We get 11 suns, which are actually visualized for us here. And we get 11 vectors. So that's already a good setup. Um, but we would need to make one additional change to the data structure to make this angle calculation work the way we want. And this is, again, where Grasshopper might get a little bit confusing. Uh, because it's really important, depending on what you want, how you want to analyze the data, to have it in the proper structure, have the data looking at itself in the right way. Um, so in this case, everything's flattened. So we have 350 vectors corresponding to the angles of the panels. And we have 11 vectors corresponding to the times of day. And right now, because they're in the same level, they're both flattened, what it's going to do is take the first 11 uh, vectors, and it's going to compute those angles with the first 11 vectors. After that, it's gonna take the last vector and compute all the rest. So this is not what we want, right? What we want is actually for each vector to calculate the angle with every panel, right, for each vector. So we wanna take the first vector, calculate its angle for every panel. We wanna take the second vector, calculate its angle for every panel. So we want like actually a two-dimensional data structure. Um, so in order to do that, we just have to graft one of the data structure into a higher dimension. So to do that, we'll, uh, you can click on, uh, right click on one of the inputs. So we're gonna take the A input, which is our panel uh, vectors, and we're gonna graft that. All right, so this might take some time uh, because now we've radically increased the amount of data we have. And if you remember before, what this generated is 350 angles because it was taking 350 panels and then going down the list of angles. Now it's actually generating 3,850 angles because it takes each panel and generates 11 angles. So you can see if you hover over the A output, what we have is a two-dimensional data structure. We have the first dimension, which is the in the curly brackets. There's one um, piece of data 
for each panel and within that there's 11 separate angles so what it did is it took each panel and calculated all 11 angles which is what we want okay because what we want to do is take each panel and generate data about how much sun is falling on it at all 11 times during the day okay so once we have that we, we're not ready to visualize that yet uh, because we're not visualizing every single value over every single time of the day we want to actually sum those together Okay, so what we're going to do is use the uh, mass addition component and we're going to plug the output into the mass addition. And this is kind of a perfect tool for what we want because mass addition will take the lowest level of your data and add up all the values in that piece of data. So in this case, the last branch we have, 11 angle values, it will take all of those branches and sum up all those 11 values and give you one value, which is the sum. And we can take a look at um, what this looks like by using a panel component. So we've plugged the original values coming out of the angle into the panel. We see how this works. Uh, it has a, a branch for each panel and has 11 uh, values in here. And then if we plug the results of the mass addition, you can see that it has one value for each panel, which is the sum of all those angles. So this is the actual data we want, and we want to plug this into our cosine. So before we had uh, one angle for each panel, and now we have one angle for each panel. The last thing we want to do is we just want to flatten that value coming out. So we don't want to keep this branch structure. We want to have this structure match the way our panel structure works, which is all a flattened list. Okay, so we'll just right click on this result and go to flatten. And you can see now we have 350 values, which uh, correspond to the total insulation throughout the day of each panel. And we have 350 panels. So we actually want to plug cosine into mass addition. This will give us the uh, added insulation. And then we want to plug the result of that into sort and also into the T parameter. So now for any day, it's giving us the total insulation throughout the day. And you can see how it's changed a bit. It's accounting a lot more for the early day and especially the late afternoon. The last thing I want to show you is how you can easily adapt this to show insulation not just throughout a day, but throughout the whole year. And you can already imagine how we can do this. We just create a bigger array of vectors instead of only specifying a range uh, for our day values, we're going to specify a range for our months. We're actually going to take a day at once a month and we're going to create 10 positions of the sun in each month. And this way we can actually increase our analysis and have any number of times of the year feed into our installation analysis.